My client needs a blog on their website, and Architect can do this right out of the gate. To add a blog, let's go over to the left side here and click on the blog icon and click Add Blog. So instantly our blog appears and it says, welcome to your blog. Now we can start blogging now and create new posts, or we can import existing blog posts. And if I click that, it gives us the ability to add an RSS feed and we could pull in posts from another system. I'm going to close this box and let's just manually create our blog. So I'm on the blog page here. You can see that Architect has added a blog item to the navigation and it's created this kind of sample blog layout for us. Similar to how the e-commerce functionality works within the blog, we now have a couple of widgets that we can use on any page, and they say here all posts, recent posts, and search posts, and it's created kind of a blog landing page for us automatically. We can click into any of these items to manage the content and manage the design, or we can click this manage posts button, and it launches kind of a deeper, bigger dashboard system for creating your blog posts. In this section is where we could set things like blog settings, so the blog name, the RSS feed, and any backups you're creating. We can add new posts and we can manage posts. So by default it added a couple posts for us. We could go in and edit those posts, so it says my first blog post and an image and we can just simply add our content. When we're ready to go we can hit save and now we've got a blog post live. So I'm going to close that back to our blog landing page and we can go ahead and style this a little bit. So first of all I've got a row here and personally I feel like it's too close to the header. So I'm going to go into the spacing and I'm going to add some margin on top of that just to give it some room to breathe. Next up I've decided on my blog landing page I really don't want this recent blog post widget so I'll delete that out and you know what I'm going to delete out my search field. Now I've got an empty column over here I'll just delete that as well. So now we've got a nice full width blog layout and if I preview this and I click on a post it's going to go to the full complete post page. The complete post page by default also has social sharing items, has commenting via Facebook comments, and then some links to other recent blog posts. It's a really powerful system with minimal setup required. If I go back to the editor, I can also click on my blog page here, and I'm going to change some of the layout options. So I could click onto this, change some of these text items, I'm going to go to the design tab, change the layout to be either kind of a sidebar one or even just a single post with some overlays. So you can see what that looks like. It needs some style tweaks, but it actually gives you a forward and back option. So if you want to add your recent blog posts to an area like your homepage, it's not going to take up 10,000 pixels. It's contained in a nice slider format. Again, if I want to edit these posts, I'm just going to click on the blog. I'm going to click manage posts and it brings up my big dashboard editor. You can restrict your clients to be able to just edit the blogging section of your site without having any other editing capabilities. Architect has great editing control for your clients, so blogging is made very, very simple in this system. Let me exit out of the dashboard here, and if I go back to my homepage quickly, let's say I wanted to add a recent post section to my homepage. If I go over to my widgets area, and now I have some blogging widgets that appeared on the bottom, I'm going to add a recent post widget, and let's just do it uh, perhaps down here at the bottom. It adds it in right there. I'm going to add some spacing above that. This is where I should have set some default global spacing uh, when I was setting up my site earlier, so that looks good. And then of course we could change this layout to be something different, as I said, kind of the sidebar approach or that single item slider. So as you can see, it's really, really simple to add things like recent posts to pages. And we have full styling control. We can set the number of visible posts, the post per row, the teaser lines, all of the textiles, the options go on and on. It's so amazing to have a fully featured blog with so little effort. And I hope you really enjoy working with this feature. It was one of my favorite aspects of Architect. In our next video, let's look at some of the advanced site settings and setting up things like favorite icons, SSL certificates, and backing up your website.